Here are two things that every GPT-14 owner should do. First, call out Motion Assistant and Windows Task Manager on the fly with the back buttons so we can quickly change TDP or end an application during the gameplay. Second, calibrate the screen temperature so it can have better color accuracy and feels more comfortable to our eyes. I will provide five different color temperature files so you can pick your favorite one. For myself, I feel 6500K is the perfect spot. So first thing first, let's set up the back buttons. Drag the motion assistant onto your taskbar first. Then open up the Win Control software. Select back button customization. Here we need to find the position of motion assistance on the taskbar first. We count the position from Windows Start menu. Just remember the Task View button at the chat app does not count any numbers. So in my case, the Motion Assistant is the first software after the Windows Start menu. Next, on the left key, click First Box and press the Windows button on the keyboard. Now this box is assigned to the Windows button. Next, move to the third box and click on the box first. Because the Motion Assistant is the first software on the taskbar, we need to press number 1 button on the keyboard. Then click Save. For the right back button, just follow my input here. It will work as Windows Task Manager. Just make sure you click Save after everything is set. Now if we press the left back button, it will pop up the motion assistance, so we can change TDP on the fly. If we press the right back button, the Windows Task Manager will pop up. That's all for the back button setup. Now let's calibrate the screen temperature. Before we start this process, I would like to show how it will work if you did this on your Win 4. You will be able to change the color temperature profile from this window. So I suggest to install all 5 temperature profiles that I provided here and swipe between them and see which one you like the most. The 6500K is my favorite one. Now let's get this done on your Win 4. First, please download the color temperature files from the video description and unzip it. Then you should get 5 color temperature ICC files inside the folder. Next, go to the desktop and right click on your mouse. Select Display Settings, then click Advanced Display. Next, click Display Adapter Properties for Display 1. On this pop-up window, click Color Management tab, then click Color Management. Next, click All Profiles tab, then click Add, and pick all five ICC files that you just downloaded one by one. So basically, we are installing all the color temperature profiles into our system. After all profiles are installed, then we can click on Advanced tab. Then click Change System Defaults. Click Advanced tab on this new window. Next, check the box in front of Use Windows Display Calibration. Make sure you check this box, otherwise the color temperature profile will not apply to the system. Then we can close this window and close the next window too. Next, click Color Management again. And then click Add. Pick all 5 installed ICC files one by one. I will suggest to add the stock ICC files from here too. So we will end up by having 6 temperature files in total. Now we can simply pick any ICC profile from here and click set as default profile. It will change the screen color temperature instantly. That's pretty much all for this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. As always, thanks for being here.